Alright YouTube, so today we have a discussion video for Fallout 76. I love doing news and info videos for whatever games I want to cover, but every now and then I like to just give my thoughts on something, and today we have a discussion video. Does lore actually matter with Fallout 76? This is of course my opinion, this is how I feel about something. This means that what I'm saying is subjective, it is not fact. If it triggers you, then whatever. This video idea stems from Lone Vault Wonder. He's done a lot of like lore based videos pretty recently and I kind of want to get my thoughts in general on lore with the Fallout series. So since the teaser trailer for Fallout 76 where it actually has a date in that trailer, there's been a lot of discussion on what's going to be in this game. Because of the year, because it's set 25 years after the Great War, are there going to be supermoons? Are there going to be Brotherhood of Steel? Could we potentially see the Enclave? There's been a lot of discussion on what is possible with this game because of the year that it is taking place. And then E3 rolls around, we get a lot of gameplay, and we do get to see that there are super mutants in the game. We also get to see that there are bottle caps. And people are questioning, why are there bottle caps? Why is bottle caps a currency? It only takes, it's only 25 years after the Great War. And this is another thing that made me want to make this video. I was like, people over here are like, oh my god, Bethesda, how are there bottle caps? It's only been 25 years since the Great War. How is that the currency? And it's just so stupid, dude. Like, regardless of your thoughts on a multiplayer Fallout, we have a brand new Fallout game coming out this year. Nobody thought that was going to happen. Everybody thought it'd be another, like, seven-ish years till the next Fallout game was happening. Everybody thought they're going to go from Fallout 4 to whatever their other projects are, and inevitably Elder Scrolls 6. And we have a brand new Fallout game coming out this year, and people are discussing how it's possible for us to have bottle caps as a currency. It, it's ridiculous. Now, I'm not here to give you the history on bottle caps. You can watch Lone Vault Wonders' video on that subject if you want to. But I'm just like, to me, bottle caps is the currency of Fallout. It's no different than like Final Fantasy, for example. I have not played every Final Fantasy out there, but everyone I've ever played the currency has been Gil. So if I were to hop onto some new, you know, Final Fantasy 16, and all of a sudden the currency is gold or the currency is like actual dollars for whatever reason, like that would be a little shocking. It's like, it's always been Gil. Why did they change it? So it'd be weird if Fallout 76 came out and all of a sudden the currency is something else like actual dollars. Actual money, like paper money, would have zero value in a post apocalyptic scenario. As soon as the bomb drop, as soon as the world is destroyed, any amount of money that you have is fucking worthless. And look, I'm not somebody who's been 100% on board with the bottle caps as a currency, but it is different, it's kind of funny, it's whatever. It's the currency of the Fallout series. I like it better than anything else. What would you expect Bethesda to have the currency be in Fallout 76, if not fucking bottle caps? Another potentially lore-breaking thing with Fallout 76 is the inclusion of the X-01 power armor that we've seen through some of the gameplay. Where people are getting triggered by this, I suppose, is that according to Fallout 2, the Fallout Bible written by Chris Avalon, and even Fallout 4 itself, the X-01 power armor wasn't created until sometime after the Great War. But there's actually a terminal entry within the Nuka World DLC for Fallout 4 that states that the X-01 power armor was actually being experimented on and with before the Great War. So this, my friends, becomes the lore. And this is kind of my overarching theme with this video, is that Bethesda owns the series, guys. Whatever they say goes. Whatever they want to be lore or want to be canon becomes lore or becomes canon. Hell, they've owned the Fallout series for 14 years now. They've owned the Fallout series for longer than Interplay owned the Fallout series. They only had it for a decade. They started development of Fallout 1 in 94 and got rid of it in 2004 to Bethesda. Like Bethesda's been the owners of the Fallout series for longer than the original creators. But that, the, time, the length of time is irrelevant anyway. They could have bought the Fallout series yesterday. And whatever they said today about the Fallout series is lore and canon. That's just how that fucking works. They own it. Like, people are wondering how the super mutants are in Fallout 76. Well, you know what? All Bethesda's got to do is have one terminal that says, uh, they were experimenting with the FEV virus before the Great War. Uh, they were successful. A random group of super mutants are in West Virginia. That's all that needs to be said, and that becomes the lore. That becomes the canon. But the people that are upset over this lore shit when it comes to Fallout 76 are absolutely ridiculous. It's very reminiscent of, like, Call of Duty World War II. People are upset. Oh, there's black people in the game. There's females in the game. And more recently with Battlefield Five, like, the cinematic, like, trailer or whatever had a female in it. And she had, like, a metallic or mechanical arm of some sort. And people were like, oh, my God, how dare they not be historically accurate with Battlefield? You know, the most realistic game of all time. Like, we barely knew anything about Fallout 76 up until E3, and then with E3 we got just loads of information. And then you have people who are like, oh my god, Bethesda, how are there bottle caps? Uh, how is there X-01 power armor? That is ridiculous. Like, who the fuck are these people? Why is that your focus? Why do you care about that? When it comes to a new Fallout game, all I really care about is the world and the gameplay. How big's the world, where is it set, and what all can I do within this world? I really don't even care about the story that much of a Fallout game. You know, they never really blow me away anyways. 
The last thing that I actually give a shit about is the lore. I don't give a fuck if the Super Mutants aren't supposed to be in Fallout 76. I want Super Mutants in my Fallout game. I'm not even going to question it. I don't care. If Bethesda wants to explain to me how they're able to be there, fine. If they don't want to, I still don't give a shit. Bit of a rambly, ranty video, my dudes, which you haven't done in quite a while, but this lore stuff is just so absurd to me. It'd be different if we booted up Fallout 76, and for some reason the game said, you know what, the Great War took place in 3,400. Then yeah, we got a problem, but these minor things that people are just nitpicking, they're just looking for more ways to bitch about Fallout 76. They've bitched enough about it being a multiplayer game, so now they're trying to find other things bad about it. You guys just kind of got to get over it. Fallout 1 and 2 aren't the only Fallout games, and they haven't been for a very long time. If you went on to enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Turn on my notifications. Follow me on Twitter at the Dashing David. Links to my social networks are in the description and in the outro. Later, guys.